decided today that I'm going to tattoo myself and if you want to watch you're welcome to. So with the Equinox everything this, uh, this coming week is about letting go, letting go of the old and embracing the new. And one thing that I need to let go of is a tiny little tattoo of my inner ankle just here. So here it is, the little heart. I'm gonna clean the area first. So this is the tree actually. I'm gonna just use this and turn it into a stencil. So this is what I've, this is what I've decided to have. Um, and look how bendy I am. That's my leg. Well, yoga pays off. This is what I'm gonna do. A tiny little tree, because we have to keep grounded and the roots are so important for nourishment and for keeping you grounded. Actually getting a bit scared now because I know that tattoos hurt and I do this to people every day, but doing it to myself is a whole different story. Anyway, let's see if we can get that heart right in those roots there. Yay. Oh, there we go, that's cute. <laughs> well done. I am actually on a little bit of a time limit as well because I've got other things to do, so I can't pussy out on this one. Just gotta get it fucking done. Right, hopefully you can all see this okay. We're going in. I already know that this is gonna be so pinchy. Owie. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that feels... That feels fucking lovely, that one. Here we go. Okay, we're away. We are away. Oh, I forgot what tattoos feel like. Mmm. Ankle tattoos? On the inside. <laughs> Definitely pinch. <laughs> you got this. You got this, Carl. That's what I say to my clients all the time. You got this shit. Like, you totally... You can do anything you put your mind to, like really. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh that feels amazing. <laughs> can I also feel that I'm getting cramped in my um in my ham hammies, in my hammy strings. But hey, this is why I've been doing yoga for the last few weeks. To completely prep me for being contorted so that I can do my tattoo. It's just one of those things that like I keep thinking about and every time I like get in a bath or shower I keep thinking like oh that tattoo it really needs to go and then I just like never find the time. But today time has magicked up for me and I'm doing it. I am fucking doing it. I do think one of the things about like tattooing yourself is that because you're kind of concentrating on following the vines, it doesn't actually hurt as much. I do find that because you're kind of focusing on not trying to fuck up your tattoo. <laughs> Stab myself with it a little bit. That's perfectly normal. That's good when you have like something that's leafy or viney like if you do accidental little slip ups here and there you can totally cover it up with another with like a little flower or a vine or an extra leaf in my case that's probably not helping that i'm like really rushed for time <laughs> that's not what you want so here we go getting that definitely getting around to that back bit is like yeah, that's, that's a little ankle fuck. I just want to say that I sincerely apologise for doing this to other people on a daily basis. On the bottom of the ankle. <gasps> oh. <laughs> it really hurts. So I thought I'd just like show you a couple of... Oh, a couple of minutes of it. Oh my god. It really is quick. <laughs> oh wow. You know what? Hats off to my clients. Because I forget, like, I, I sincerely forget what it feels like. And I'm just so, like, nonchalant and blasé about it now. <laughs> but every so often, every so often, I just have to remind myself of what it is that I do to other people on a daily basis. And it's this. Like, why? 
Why am I doing this to myself? Seriously. Oh my god. Angle fuck. <laughs> okay, we'll get back to the shading. So I just show you the outline is done. I did not squeal or anything in that last bit of outline right behind the heel. That felt awesome. So yeah, outline's done. Now I'm gonna punch in some shade and definitely starting to get cramped. So I thought what might be quite cool is um is just putting on a little bit of green in the leaves. Um because I do like a little bit of colour, like <laughs> there are like quite a few choice words that I get like while I'm tattooing other people. I think I think the best one was probably that I was called a fanny while while tattooing someone. That was probably my best. Anyway, I'm gonna carry on shading this, get the colour in, and then I'll get back to you. So I couldn't really film the rest because I'd run out of um time on here. Um, but I'll just show you the final result if I <laughs> if I can. This so this is my tattoo. I'll add a picture at the end. And here she is in all her glory. I think sitting in that position probably hurt more than the tattoo. <laughs> and that was Thursday.